Non-essential staff have been told not to go to work in the Sellafield nuclear plant today following elevated levels of radioactivity. The Radiological Protection Institute of Ireland has said they're keeping a watching brief on the plant. I'm doing a hidden camera shot. I'm only joking. Bitch, <laughs> It's only a joke. It's only a joke. <laughs> Hiya. How's it going? My name is Sergeant Brown. I'm with the Radiation Detection Department. Oh, right. There's been a radiation leak in the area. Oh, my God. So, radiation? Uh, radiation leak, yeah. Um, we're after pinpointing it to one of the pipes that's running directly underneath the residence here. Oh, my God. So you've probably, you've probably heard the planes overhead this morning. Yeah. We were just doing some tests and they, they found the, the, a couple of red zones in the area. Yeah, because um, uh, somebody smelled gas the other day. The pipes run very close to each other, yeah, so that could have affected the gas. They have a hole here for testing. Sergeant, we got another one here. I've bagged it. That's the third Tag now. That. That's yeah. still warm. Oh, my God. You wouldn't mind if I just went through a couple of questions with you there, yeah, about, sure, just about you. radiation. That was a rat. Oh. Dead rat, yes. Yeah. So have you been experiencing any nausea or vomiting lately? Yeah, very, very tired. Tired? Very, very okay. tired. A diarrhea? Uh, not necessarily. Dizziness or disorientation? Yeah, even. No? Yeah. Yeah? Or do you find that when you walk into a room you forget why you went in there or...? Yeah. If you could just uh, hold your arms out uh, at shoulder level, tilt your head slightly back and just do one full rotation and then walk five feet in front of you. Everything feels OK there? Yeah. OK. So we're going to have to dig or do some tests here. Only in this area. Coming directly from underneath the house. So if you have any personal belongings or any little no, trinkets no. that you might have sentimental value for, just in case there's any no, damage done. No, no. If you just step in anyway, I'll just show you. She, Mary was complaining the tiredness, you know? Yeah. And she was saying to me, I shouldn't be born on the logs and that. Yeah. Because sometimes I go to sleep and I wouldn't wake up for hours. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is only after coming to light in the last 20 to 48 hours. We're going to have to go through the boards, I'd say, down to concrete level. And it could take us two days to put the hole back, you know? Oh Where might you start? Uh, I'd say the front room. Major, come in, Sergeant Major. Yes, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, we're at number 30 here. It's the goddamn safe house location, not the source. That is the green zone. We will be deploying the refugees to the premises stat. Inform the occupants that they have to harbour 50 to 60 of the residents from the surrounding contaminated zones for at least two to three days. OK, we are actually after making a mistake. Hey, okay. So we're going to be bringing local residents here. Yeah. So would you be able to take 40 to 60 people? Uh, I, I'm sure we can take people. I can take uh, this side here on the left. Uh, my neighbours. How many could you sleep? Um, 60. We have, we have 40 to 60 en route. Is Terry not a safe house next door? Terry no, no, the piping system's running so close that literally within your boundary line is the only place that was actually clear, you know? Yeah. I'll just go through the protocol for the radiation lockdown. Do not flush any toilets liable for radiation backdraft. So if anyone has to have any waste or whatever, we're going to give you some kind of system where that they can use some kind of, you know, wee wee pads or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Have you cooked for large numbers of people before? I was in the army myself, and I, okay. I was in the, I was quartermaster sergeant in the Fighting 69 Irish Brigade and almost American folk party. So I'll be doing uh, 20 or 30 meals, you know. We'll just double that. So it'll be 50 or 60 people here for three to four days. So we'll just have to work on it the best we can. Yeah. If we don't bring the people, we could also just have the pets here. Uh, you could stop that camera across the road.